welcome to Alpha Military TV. Thanks again for tuning in and uh, watching our videos. Now, as you may have seen, uh, we've been doing an awful lot of uh, gun reviews, which are great fun, especially as you can play with guns that you don't actually own. But I thought it might be uh, a bit of fun to just try and some do something different. Um, now, what I'm going to do is um, I'm really looking at um, the extent to which uh, pellets will drop at different powers uh, and different distances. So I'm going to run a 12 foot pound gun at 30 meters, 40 meters and 50 meters, a 2-2. Then I'm going to run a 30 foot pound FAC rated rifle at 30 meters, 40 meters and 50 meters as well. And just see uh, how much drop there is for the comparative different power uh, settings for the rifles. Um, to sort of give you an, an idea of how much uh, holdover is required at those different distances. Um, <clears throat> now, I have to say that um, there's a little bit of breeze today, so I'm going to get my excuses in nice and early. Uh, but I'm going to aim at the same aim point each time on the different distances just to see how much drop there is. Now, the two rifles, let me show you the rifles. Now, the rifles are both zeroed at 30 meters. Now, this is my uh, BSA R10 um, Mark II, as I say, 12 foot pounds, 2 2 rifle. Absolutely love this rifle, one of my absolute favourite rifles. And then the more powerful rifle is my Daystate Wolverine R, uh, which is an, again 2 2 and is running at 30 foot pounds. So let's see how we get on. Bear with me as I run down the range and put the targets up. First target. 30 meters. Right, this is our first test then. This is uh, 30 meters, 2-2. Two, two. I'm using Air Arms Diablo Fill pellets uh, in 5.52 calibre. Uh, so this is, uh, yeah, 30 yards with a 12 foot pound gun. Uh, it's not the best group in the world, um, at least it serves to show that the gun is on or around about on at 30 metres. Right, we'll try the Wolverine R now at 30 metres. So this is the 30 foot pound rifle at 30 metres. That's better. Right. Well, let's put the uh, the target back to 40 now, 40 meters, and see how we get on.
Oh, well, that's interesting. So that's a drop of what? About and they're three inches with the 12 foot pound gun. That equated to about four mil dots uh, on my scope. Uh, then this one over here, um, got a couple that sort of went a little bit high, but the main group here is about an inch below the target, which equated to um, not quite a mil dot um, of drop. Right, well let's see how, how we get on at 50 meters then. Right, well, let's take the target back and have a proper look at it. Okay, well, here's the targets in a little bit more detail. Um, so here you can see this is the uh, the 12 foot pound at 30 meters, and 30 meter, and the 30 foot pound at 30 at 30 meters. Now, the 12 foot pound, this is the aim point here uh, for the 12 foot pound 2.2 at 40 meters, and you can see the group has landed what about three inches below there which is as, as I said before is about four mil dots on my scope uh, now the 30 foot pounds at 40 meters um, that was a drop of about probably about an inch or so um, not quite a mil dot but about three quarters of a mil dot on my scope now what's really interesting is we get to 50 meters and this is the aim point up here um, for the 12 foot pound rifle at 50 meters and this is the group down here um, so what's that probably I don't know seven or eight inches drop over 50 meters still not a uh, not a bad group um, and I'll get my excuse in now that I've been running up and down the range with the camera and the target board 30 40 50 meters you know and worrying about the camera running out of battery so excuse is over um, and then at 50 meters with a 30 foot pound, um, you can see the group here. There's three low ones there, but that's seven pellets in that group just there. Um, and that's a drop of probably, I don't know, an inch and a half maybe at 50 meters. Um, just over a mil dot of holdover uh, on my scope. So let me show you that in a little bit more close up detail.
so there you go hope that was interesting um, just goes to show the amount of holdover that you need um, at various different distances the only way that I found um, to to work out your um, aim points at different distances is to pick a zero say 30 meters and then put targets out at like five meter increments from 20 meters out to 50 meters shoot off some groups and then just take a note of how much you have to hold over or hold under um, to get yourself back on the uh, on the aim point anyway as I say hope that was interesting um, if you found it interesting please uh, give us a like on our video um, you can subscribe to us as well so that you can get notification of all new content that comes out and if you'd like to see more from Alpha Militaria gun reviews uh, accessory product reviews uh, as well as just interesting hints and tips about air gun in general um, check us out on our website alphamilitaria.com thanks for watching